Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm still in the Copper Coast. So it's the day after my last week's episode and I had a fantastic actually day today. I woke up this morning in the van, had a nice breakfast, had some nice lunch. I edited the vlog from last week, which was actually yesterday. And now I've arrived to a location for sunset. And it's a location that I really, really like a lot for a number of reasons. Number one, as you can kind of just make out behind me here, you've got some really, really nice stacks. There's one of them there, I call it the cathedral stack. I don't know if anybody else does, but I call it the cathedral stack. And it looks really, really nice in images. And also it's a place that I came to in the morning at the very end actually of 2020, when we were just released from lockdown and I got some of the best seascape shots that I've ever gotten. Pretty much actually from this area here, but with the water hitting off these uh, rocks that are just here behind me. But I'm here now, as I said, for sunset. There's a gap in the clouds, but a big bank of clouds right on the horizon. So I'm not going to get any real nice light for sunset. But I do think that during golden hour, the clouds that are here hopefully will light up. And as I was walking over towards my area that I wanted to go to, I was stopped in my tracks by the shapes that are there in the sand from the water as it recedes out. There's some really nice textures within that. And with the light now as well, hitting off of those, you really do get the pronunciation of all of the details and the actual contrast of those. So I put the camera down low first and foremost, and then I decided to go higher to be able to get more of the sheen from the light that's coming directly at me. And I also put the camera now, as you can probably see here, in portrait orientation, because I want to really focus on these that are leading up through the frame. And I just got this one single solitary island that's there on the horizon as well in the distance with the light on the right hand side. But I think for this, I'm going to take a couple of different types of shots. I'm going to play with some different uh, shutter speeds. I'm definitely going to use focus stacking because I want to make sure that it's fully um, sharp the whole way through. And very luckily as well, the area that I'm at is not been broken up by the many, many footsteps that people have walking on here today. So yeah, I'm gonna grab this first shot anyway now. And yeah, let's see how this afternoon goes for a sunset. If my predictions are right, I might get nice golden light, but I definitely won't get a nice sunset. It was always on fire, our house, our dreams. We were dancing on a wire, reckless. We found holes in these walls We like what we saw Seems so strong until it falls The final straw As I've come over now towards the rocker area looking for a composition, I spotted how the light actually was coming in here and bouncing right off the side of that rock and it really drew me in. So I've quickly changed out there now to my long lens and I'm just focusing in on this here with a bit of a pool in front and then with the cathedral rock, like I said, that I call it in the distance. Now that the sun has come down through that gap, it is lighting this up nicely. So I think it's a nice little find anyway for me to be able to have. Now, one of the things as well that I have to be careful of here is when I'm composing the shot, because I'm using my zoom lens, it allows me to be able to get rid of all the distractions that are going on around me here and just purely focus in on what I want to look at. But also the tide is coming in. so. The water's coming in around me here a moment ago, so I don't have long, but it is going to be good if I wait because I'm able to get the water as it rushes through and hopefully 
the light then as well will stay on that to complement both. So that would be a nice shot if it can happen. The water is coming in rather quickly, so I'm going to hang about here and hopefully that shot then will materialize. If it does, I'll give you a look at it now. Out of the darkness Into the light Won't let it go No matter the distance And how far I run mm -hmm. You'll always be missing mm. When the day is done Now, as predicted, the sun has gone into the bank of clouds, so the scene has gone extremely flat. But I've come around now to the other side of the area I was a moment ago, um, because I wanted to be able to see, could I be able to get up to the water's edge, which is where I am right now. And with the tide that's coming in, I'm getting some beautiful movement in the water. So I'm now going for a one second exposure to capture a shot as a wave hits this rock that's in front of me here and it breaks around it. Then I get that movement of the water as it rushes in. Anything shorter, you don't get it filling up the base of the frame. It just looks like the sand that it is at the moment. But that might add something nice to the image because it is gone extremely flat, but there is a nice bit of layering as well in the distance because of the gap that's in that cloud. And also I'm framing it here and I have to be very conscious of my composition to be able to place everything so there's nothing overlapping. So similar to what you have here, I've got this one stack, then I've got Cathedral Rock, then I've got this island over to the right hand side, which has not been broken by the rocks that are over here on my right as well. So yeah, this will be an interesting one as the water continues to come in and I wait for waves just like this, catch a shot as it hits the rock and then it flows in over. So yeah, I'll see you now if I get a shot from here and I'll give you a look at that as well after I catch one. Hey. The truth is I don't really know why I just let the wild wind decide Cause I go blind when I try to find you Is I go blind when I try to find you But I'll find you Now because it's so dark and moody and there is no real light here, I've gone back onto my long lens and I've decided just to try and single out this cathedral rock, which seems to be the star of the show for me today, but um, I'm singling it out as much as I can. It is quite close to the rocks that are on the left hand side, so I've come further over left on the beach just to allow me to be able to have separation on that. And then I've done for a long exposure. Now, I haven't put on my uh, 10 stop or six stop. I've actually just taken my 0.9 ND grad because it is so dark and I've dropped it all the way down so that it's taking all of the harshness and the highlights out of the sky. And that's allowing me then as well to be able to get a 30 second exposure at F16. And I've dropped my ISO to be fair to 50, but that does work I think in relation to getting this shot. The challenge is to make sure that it's sharp, obviously, so I put on my two second timer and then I just walk away and I'm not anywhere near the camera so I don't bring any shake or potential shake into the image. But yeah, I definitely think that's a nice shot because on its own, it really does fill the frame and it does be prominent on the uh, horizon. So um, looking to my west there, the clouds are still obviously there. I can see a bit of light in behind them in the gaps that were there earlier on. So there's gonna be high level color on my left hand side to the east there is a nice bit of color all right so i might actually just take a couple of shots now this way with the long lens and see if i can take out some of the 
uh, color that's going to be there for this evening anyway but i don't think i'm going to get anything on the west and i'm definitely going to get nothing anyway here so yeah i'll show you the shot now and then i'll look east for sunset and see if i can capture some of that color if it starts to build tide has really come in now uh, where I was earlier on is probably around about maybe three and a half feet of water so it's right up as far as me now and I retreated back earlier than this and what I've done now again is put the 0.9 in degrad all the way down and I'm taking another shot of Cathedral Rock but now the rocks that were exposed a moment ago are now covered in water and I'm going for a long exposure. I think it's going to be a lovely shot um, because you're going to have these rocks in the bottom left and then you've got separation as well between them and the stacks that are just off on the distance there. But yeah, another, another shot from this great afternoon here in Kilfarrisy. Well, definitely no light to the west, but it is actually beautiful to the east. This lovely pink glow that's above, I think it's a headland that's sticking out there. So what I've done is taken two types of shot. While I had the 0.9 in degrad all the way down after my last long exposure, I said I'd go for a long exposure this direction. And then what I did is I used the 0.9 in degrad as normal. And I've gone for a one second exposure, timing it actually for when the water is breaking over the rocks here and it's really, really nice. Now, that color, you probably can't see it on that camera, but it actually is really, really vibrant. So I'm happy to see there'll be a nice shot from that. So yeah, I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very much, as always, for joining. Hope you enjoyed this episode and this journey to the Copper Coast and Kilfarrisy. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Shlonga Fall. Dancing on white